Step 3. Channel the water where it is needed. Now that you have worked out where the water flows in and around your yard and how to slow it down, you need to channel the water to where you want it to go. You can channel the water directly to your garden beds, to a contour barrier or ditch, or you can direct the water to where you want to store it for later use. Maud Seppo Kumbane, a social and rainwater harvesting activist who has worked with poor people all her life, has designed her own water harvesting and conservation system, which we call Run On. In this system, she catches water running down a slope using a contour ditch or furrow. She then directs this water into her garden using a series of sunken but level paths and steps. This water slowly moves along these paths and permeates or seeps into the sides of the raised trench beds which make up her garden. This get full and overflow over here. And then all this place here, all this place here is covered, all the footpaths are covered in water. Yeah, this big furrow, this one is the, one of the biggest harvesters because it get, collects all the water from the, the road. You know, where you came, ne? that is the road. And then there it's low lying and then it gushes and then it channels that water and then it ramifies into here and then into here. When it gets here, all this is water. Even the water from the road and all is channeled, cannot go through over this side. It's channeled and goes through on this on this path and then it gets flooded here and then it moves into this this deep furrow here. It overflows, it floods this area and it overflows. Her beds are designed as small basins that also catch and hold water. At the bottom of the garden she has an outlet or overflow for any excess water to move to and this directs water to her underground storage tank. In this way she can use almost all the rainwater that falls in her yard. The lava water through here, through this, and then travels here, holding them. It's full now. Right now, when we're standing here, it's full. And then this is the at them. It will be paved and closed. So now, if I develop this tube, I will have now caught every drop. Nothing that will pass. It's only rain that will be because even I'm catching dust from the upper side, from the gate up there, all that flow gets through here. It doesn't go branch anywhere else. It goes from here. So I've maximized kept it from a, a wider overflow from the up, up slope and channeled it to where I need it to come. So I'm harvesting those millions and millions of liters, of cubic liters, into the underground. To summarize, the main techniques that Mart Seppo uses in her garden are the contour ditch, which she uses to collect the water that flows from her neighbor's land, and she also uses the contour ditch at the bottom of her plot to collect any remaining runoff. The contour basin, where she does her planting and which keeps the water in the basin, and the diversion furrow or ditch, which moves the water to where she wants it to go. The diversion furrow or ditch is a very simple way of moving water. We spent some time in Bushbuck Ridge where students were learning how to dig the diversion ditch and the contour ditch. First you need to mark out a route for your diversion ditch so that it will intercept as much water as possible and carry it to where you will use it. The channel that comes here, so people have already taken advantage of the channel with this ditch here. But what I would suggest we do is we start here, mm -hmm. because then some of the water that's coming here can now go that way, and then some can go that way. Yeah. You should not make this diversion furrow directly down the slope, as this will concentrate and speed up the water too much and cause erosion. Now, dig a ditch approximately 30 centimeters wide and 30 centimeters deep. You can place the soil from the ditch on the down slope side of the ditch, forming a soil ridge. This is also known as a soil berm or a soil bund. In this diagram, you can see the ditch or furrow at the top of the garden and then the water flowing through the raised beds.